T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Lift off. The goal of the project is basically to match theory with reality. So we built a model in theory, like in mathematics, and we built it in reality and compare these two and see if those two are really matching or not. The whole project started from the idea of how to build rockets, how to build water rockets specifically. So the fuel is actually water and just air, so it's not that complicated, but the physics behind it is similar to real world rockets. The thrust force, the calculation of acceleration, everything, it's similar. It was very interesting for me because uh, there was all the things for a design engineer, like designing thing, manufacturing and testing. So that is, that is the process normally used in every industry and everywhere to get the product ready. So we start up with building a mathematical model which is there available and we put all those things uh, in a program, we calculate this stuff and later on we build a model and check these things, uh, compare these two models and see the, if the results are matching or are going offset or we are underestimating or overestimating certain things. My role was mathematical modeling and simulation. So for that, I had to study about rockets, the physics, and then I had to find the equations, proper equations for modeling this. And finally, uh, I managed to model it in MATLAB Simulink. And also I managed to interface the Raspberry Pi, the microcomputer that you need for getting the data from sensors, obtaining camera, videos. I am responsible for design, mechanical simulation and manufacturing of the project. We started design process for a 15 bar pressure. So our first task was to design the launcher. The second thing was selection of a pressure, pressure chamber. For that we used a cola bottle, so which can go up to pressure of 20 bar. I was basically responsible for selecting the types of sensors, what type of controller we should use uh, or processor we should, uh, we should use and then coding those sensors to get real-time data on screen. The experience I had was uh, spectacular, like all were from different backgrounds, like Weibo, uh, he is specializing in design and Piyush is uh, specializing in electronics. So I could learn a lot from them. We had a single aim, but it consisted of different works. So I could learn what they did and I could, uh, I could understand what all things needs to be achieved for this project. I learned a lot from, uh, as a team member, from my different colleagues, uh, which uh, gives you an opportunity to work with the different cultural people and grow as a human being. The experience I had while working with this team will definitely help in my later professional life. Because while doing this project, we encountered different problems and we also had different tasks to do. But at the end, we helped each other to achieve each other's task. Practical, th practical experience is important because theory tells you sometimes one thing and you feel that it is quite easy to do. But once you put your hands there and uh, try to work on it, then uh, you come to know the small challenges you face. And uh, always people tell that uh, if you want to be a good engineer, you have to make your hands dirty.
This is a new and strange environment at first, 